welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with this week's power, what was it, something about fortune, what was it? Reversal of fortune. Listen, it is taking everything in us to get in front of this camera today because everything wants to happen today. Yeah. Um, Laura, it's just a major rest in peace to Kobe and his daughter. That indeed, just blew. Indeed. Yeah. I it don't even sound real. It's like, what? They, they, yeah. uh, freaking helicopter crash? What? It just, it just don't make any sense. Yeah. And then let me tell y'all a real, a real, real, real quick rant about my mom, right? Her friend, friend, done bought her a mattress and box spring for Christmas, right? Instead of her getting what she really wanted, she tried to be cheap. She just cheap. Got the cheapest one in the store. I looked in the room this morning and I said, why is the mattress sinking on one side? Well, come find out the box spring is broken. <laughs> and now, because a soft egg make a hard egg, I got to be part of the process Solution. of making this thing right. Uh -huh. And she told me, hey, take, me, take pictures. Do this, do that, do that. Told you not to get the cheap she can. <laughs> But on to the goddamn review. This was a filler episode for me. Yeah. Coming off of last week, I expected it to be like bye bye because boom, next boom. week is supposed to be it, right? Yeah, supposed to be the last episode. So we got a lot of good information. I got a lot of filler information, but it was a lot of skit that I couldn't have lived without knowing. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm gonna tell you who the breakout star was. Hey. The brother. Uh -huh. I enjoyed seeing him for a Oh my God, I, I enjoyed yeah. seeing him uh -huh. with his brother, man. Yeah, oh my God. That, was, that was cool. That was so random, but I didn't even know it. Like, y'all probably knew, but and, I don't think And that was actually time. the first time they ever starred together in anything. Really? That was the first time. Yep. Are you sure? Yep. I, I read it on that when they said it online. No, so that was the first time. Well, so since it's online, it got to be true. So maybe, <laughs> see, yeah, so maybe they might have been in the movies together, but, but actually, scene yeah, scene? being seen on scene, you know, Working together. Okay. Yeah, because cause you know how it is, brothers and sisters working together. Sometimes that don't work. No. <laughs> Before we get into the review, I'm going to yeah. read the first, um, the top three comments that sat out to us on last week, right? E. All right. Commenter number one, Natural Soul 721 said, I'm so glad. Tommy didn't stop for snacks and made it up out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to take it. Rest in peace, Dre. Always enjoyed Tommy's acting. Tommy did his thing last week. Yeah, he did. Um, <clears throat> Love New Hair 35. The part that got me is when he pulled the cover off of that car. I cried like a newborn baby. <laughs> Let me, and I didn't even talk about it last no, week. No, we ain't said anybody yet. But that right there, I was like, he got his baby. Back. Yeah. And then Lisa McElwain. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Call me crazy, but I'm counting the copies made of that recording. The necklace, the pink dump, um, thumb drive, mm -hmm. and the one the auntie put in her purse. Yup. It ain't over because it's So that make one more still left. Uh-huh. Mm. So all right, let's get into this review. Yeah, like you said, man, this week was definitely was a filler episode. Uh, this episode was all about uh, freaking Councilman Tate after what happened to him when Ghost got him kicked off of the God Dawn campaign trail. So this ninja ends up at the bar, toe up from the floor up. He in there trying to rap to this girl, and she was like, the state you in, you can't even handle me. And mm -hmm. all the bros that ever tasted any liquor understand exactly what, what she was saying. <laughs> so when he was at the bar, this is where Sergio the Entertainer came in there at. He gave him a call. He in D.C., him and his son, he gave him a call like, I got a job that I need you to get your A down here to New York. Country A. Yeah, your country A down here to New York to take care of the job. He was like, when? He said, today. So, uh, Councilman was still at the, at the bar, and the girl had to end up, he was so goddamn drunk, she had to end up calling his brother to come pick him up. And his, again. And his brother was like, he down there drunk again? I was like, hey, what the hell is you doing, man? I said, do you have a problem? <laughs> so, in the midst of him still trying to rap to the girl, he was like, I ain't never left no woman unsatisfied. I'm going to do some things to you that you ain't no. Boom! And that's, what he, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he ended up in his brother's house. <laughs> in his nephew bed. <laughs> yup, in his nephew bed, huh? Yeah, some of y'all in there some places, you know, you ain't expected to be when you yeah, had a like, little too much left. Uh huh, be like the hangover. What happened last night? night? <laughs> <laughs> you just you got roofy. It just it had no chickens running around. Yep. <laughs> Random strippers, teeth missing. 
So he get up, come out there, they having breakfast. So he finally tell his brother, um, I ain't no longer running for lieutenant governor. He was like, what? What happened? He was like, ghost happened. If I see that ninja again, I'm going to kill him. So in the midst of even them talking about it, because the sum were real funny too. So he when they was talking funny. about it, he was like, there goes some old bad news right there. I'm going to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> and there was going on on the way. And that's when he first officially seen that uh, Ghost and Lorette Walsh is going to be on a campaign together. And he was like, that it really, really sent him through the roof. Because at that point, God, he didn't even know nothing about that. At that point, because he thought it was just still um, Ghost and the... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Her. Whatever. Yeah, her. Ramona. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't ever <laughs> know nothing about Walsh being involved in it. So that's what really pissed them off. So... He ended up back down at the, at the uh, his campaign office, at Hickam Sachs and Blanca again, and he was like, "I don't want no interviews." I'm sick of them. So he was like, "We not we ain't here for interviews. We here with the, with the feds, and uh, we need you to testify against uh, James St. Patrick's uh, as far as the uh, silver case." And he was like, "How can I help you?" Okay. <laughs> but mind you, by then he had already put the hit out on Ghost with his goddamn friend. So, after he got finished talking to them, he decided, I need to go and warn Ghost that this hit is coming. And yeah. of course, Ghost being the arrogant joker that he is, he couldn't he he even... his own face. Yeah, he wouldn't even let Councilman get it out. So, Councilman was telling him, I'm not a sore loser, da 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 I'm proud that you, uh, you know, you running for the Tilly governor, you know, made the best man win, you know, you became the best man, you won, da 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 But he still was trying to tell him, and Ghost wouldn't let him tell him. So I was like, he, at that point he was like, but anyway. Yeah, and then Ghost had mentioned, he was like, I ain't got time to be pretty much right here fooling around with you. I got to go get my son and yeah. deal with my son. And he was like, son. So I said, okay, yeah. what is his next move going to be? Because now he knows that Ghost is about to be around his kid. Yeah. So I was like, uh, what you going to do, Tate? What you yeah. I, I wasn't going to talk about this scene right here. We saw that scene with Cedric the Entertainer and his son was with this dude, Frankie. I don't know where the hell it was at, but they were slicing this joker all up. I couldn't watch it. But I was like, were they trying to make Cedric look like a, you know, a, a gangster, real a real killer? Because I don't see Cedric the Entertainer as a killer. He's, in my mind, he's just still a comedian. So it was still, even though he was trying to be a bad egg, it was still funny because he had that freaking music playing. Man. Because you, know, <laughs> you know he got to have that Cadillac music playing and anything that anything. he do. <laughs> so I was like, eh. They they probably could have left Cedric out for real for real. I I just really didn't really see like it. They could have left the some... scene out because they didn't have to sell it to us. Just let him be about it. They they could have went know. from the phone call at the bar to him showing up with his son watching Ghost, and we all would have been like, oh skit, That's... it's Cedric. And then we could have just seen him go and put in that work. But at the same time, we don't see Cedric as a killer though. Anybody can be a killer though. I mean, anybody can be a killer, but. In the in the music, uh, not music. In the movie world, we want to see something that's really realistic, man. But and I, I think, think the way that. that they sold it to us was they gave us some of that Cedric Flair, even the way he dressed, the yeah. music, the yeah. car. So, so maybe they could have get that without the killer. The killer, well, that, that, yeah, that it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work. For Ain't me. no whole family union just going on around right here. Never against Cedric. Yeah. I still love Cedric Entertainment. Yeah. He's still funny. You just see him on Kings of Comedy backing up that mm -hmm. space yeah, shuttle. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm all you see. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. As I don't a know how we got here. So, why we on that? I can talk about that. So, um, him warning, warning ghosts didn't work. So he tried to actually call them all from from uh, killing ghosts, and he they was like. I came all the way from DC I was to do a job. Some gas money. Yeah, <laughs> we gonna still do this job. It's either gonna be him oh, or it's gonna be you. <laughs> and they made a good point. They said, "So if he ends up dead, what makes you think that they ain't gonna turn that skit around and blame us for a kill that we didn't even do? Exactly. Because we came down here for you." I said, "You know what? That's a good goddamn point. So maybe get killed for real." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we see uh, Councilman went over there to warn Tasha. That Ghost was getting ready to pretty much to make his campaign look better. He was getting ready to throw Tariq underneath the bus for the Raymond James um, freaking murder. Jones. Raymond Jones. I was like Raymond James. That's that's it's a broker's firm. <laughs> 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 but anyway, yeah, Raymond Jones um, killing. So 
this kind of was kind of a twist for me with him going to do that because we've been trying to still trying to figure out who in the hell shot goes. And when that scene came, I was like, I think Tasha is going to go and protect Tariq because it's that mama instinct. It makes no difference what the boys do. No, it does Mama is going to come to their defense, even if they know the boy is wrong. Dead wrong. <laughs> yeah. Not my boy. So now, at first, I was leaning more towards Tariq, but now my need to go towards Tasha that Tasha did it. I could be wrong. What you, you think? I could be wrong. It can still be a goddamn dream. And I actually did watch Power Confidential last week. And even Tommy kind of joked about it. He was like, at the end of it, all, all of this could, could be a dream. I said, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't even do that to us. So, uh... I'm finally convinced that it's not a dream. Don't do that. <laughs> so we kind of got the feeling of the warehouse scene. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of, so they went and staged it after, you know, he was talking to them about trying to call up the hit. They end up going do it. And they, you know, set up at the, uh, at the warehouse, at the warehouse. Cause you know, Tommy and them thought it was the Italians. Cause last week we saw when Tommy went in, he was like, these are not the Italians. So we know now it was the hit that Tate did. Yeah. And so, it kind of left the son, I think his name was Carter or something like that, mm. kind of left him out in the woods because when Sedgie got shot, he put him on his own then. And I was like, oh, hell, Tate is about to die because this boy ain't fitting to let his daddy get shot in a hit when they told him that Ghost was going to be by himself, which technically he probably was supposed to be, yeah. but they had no idea that he was going to meet Tommy. Yeah, and how would they know that? Yeah, so... And which Tate would have never known that either. But at first, I was like, okay, I know who the killer is. Now, bump with Courtney had to say. Because Courtney talks too much, and I told y'all that. So, she's already said that whoever killed Ghost was in that scene of walking yeah. up the sidewalk. But, is but I'm like, if she lied just to throw us off, then we're not looking at the right people. And then I said, well, maybe it's the son. Because yeah. he's pissed off that his dad came down there and got killed. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, later on, we... <laughs> it ain't him. Yeah, it ain't him. <laughs> I was like, God, no. So, you know, right is right. Of course, the boy ends up coming back looking for freaking uh, Councilman Tate. Be like, hey, you sent us into this thing blind. You said it was only going to be one dude. No, matter of fact, he called him first. He was calling him like, hey, you oh sent us in this. It was two people. It was an ambush, da, da, da. And Tate was like... I can't hear I can't you, hear huh? You. I can't hear you. you, got you, got you got Don't call this number again. Psh, say, you bastard. You at least could have talked to the boy. And you thought that was just going to go away? Yeah. So the boy ended up rolling up on him while he outside. And I was like... At his brother's house. At his brother's house. And I was like... Ain't that like family members that bring mm -hmm. their bulls get to your front door? Yep. Literally. And then act like you don't know why <laughs> these ninjas come looking for you. So... If it wasn't for his brother, he would have been dead. Yeah, bro, so his brother shot. heard him out there arguing, and so he come out there and took him out. And then he gonna lie about it and tell him all something. I don't know who he was. It wasn't them crackheads. And his brother was like, bull skip. Um, you know, you ain't been around here. here. You ain't been around here for a long time. We don't have stuff around here like that no more. <laughs> he was like, because uh, Rashad was like, you in the hood. That's what happens. He was like, nah, it'll like change. You come around there a little bit more. You would know. know. <laughs> so, and I like the fact that his brother read through all of his book. Oh, yeah. It was there for him, but at the same time, the whole time he had his good eye on his brother, like, yeah. what the buck did you do? Yeah. And what is going on? Because ain't, ain't nobody the, coming after you for nothing. Yeah. And the brother is still in YPD. Yep. And I was like, don't get your brother hung up in some skit <laughs> while he trying to have a nice home, nice career, nice marriage. You come over there with your boo. Yup. And I thought that the brother was about to get kicked out of the force. Well, he kind of is on administrative leave. Yeah, because they get a call when he, they had to actually get in the car and go down to the station because he needed to be questioning. So when it was going down, he was like, run that story by me again. <laughs> it's like, if I didn't know any better, I would think you. Think there's a hole in my, in my story. He was like, like, I just need to make sure by the time we get down here, we got this story right. He said, because you're about the luckiest man. That I ever know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you always, no matter what. It just works out. It always works out for you. So he ended up getting down there getting questioned, lying his tail off again. But... He kind of got a, he got her out because he was like, even though they said, oh, you ain't a police officer no more, but 
you been a police officer, we all stick to Gala, so they down there kick you and ha ha and da da da. Giving it yeah. up down. So, in the midst of all that, they get a call that was from shooting that truth. So, they had to go down there. And they so, asked him, go ahead. And you're on the wrong ride. It was like, he the police officer. The brother no said he is not a no cop. Police officer they no was more. like, so when they riding over there, he was like, you stay in the car. I'm going in and check it out. But of course. That's like telling a kid to stay, stay in the car and chuck a cheese. Exactly. They getting out. So he got there. He got out. And soon he walked up to Truth. Hey, come to reporters. And I was like, so you didn't think just because you put a hoodie on your head. Ain't nobody going to recognize you. Your tape. But I got to admit. Short dude. Yeah. I got to admit, he did rock that guy. No, interview out. He did. But his brother was standing back there like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And soon he finished with that guy on interview. His brother said, how in the hell you come up with that bullshit get so quick? <laughs> I said, come on, bro. He said, practice. I said, he said, true. He said, hmm. True, true, true. All right, so now that Ghost has been shot or AKA dead, that puts him back, it puts um, Councilman back into the running. So uh, Walsh and the other guy, I think his name is Steven, had to come back. And say, you know, pretty much can you come back on, on the campaign? And he was like, yep, but without you, Walsh. I was like, yeah. And she was pissed off and trying to, you know. And she, not lieutenant. Yeah, not lieutenant. Nope, governor. <laughs> and Stephen was like, go on about your business, Walsh. I don't want to call the shots around here. Shook his hand. He back on the campaign, ready to go. We seen his little speech at, at, I guess it was at the church, because you remember the scene where he yeah. was at the church? And I was like, uh, the pastor uh, said, you owe me. Uh, yeah, you owe me. I said, what'd you do? Yeah, and uh, he was like, I need a miracle. He was like, with well, God, uh, Get well, man, day. it might be impossible. God, all things are possible. I know I just said it wrong, but y'all y'all got it. Y'all got it. It's but he was like, so the Lord got to get off his A and, and make a miracle. I was like, bro. He said, you can't talk to the Lord like that. <laughs> but it seemed to work, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, so it seemed to work because the miracle came when he got back on the campaign. I mean, he ain't governor yet. He's still not me. Yeah. Uh, then, at the end, we see that he hooked back up with Cassandra again. I was like, okay, we really doing this all over again. Yeah. So, they get it on. Y'all saw it. Ramona come over there, and she pissed off. Did y'all remember <laughs> <laughs> when... Uh, when he came out of the interview after he did the speech at the church, he told the reporters that Ramona and Ghost was having an affair together and how y'all expect for her to be this way or that way when she doing that and exposed about her ex-husband uh, situation. So, of course, they took that and ran with that and Ramona got a whiff of that. And so she come over there mad and hot. And then when she saw Cassandra, she really was mad and hot. Cassandra was like, <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm back. And I'm like... So no, Tate yeah. told her... Said, yes, you, <laughs> said, you know that in politics, every time you try something, it's going to bring up that your freaking nominee was killed. <laughs> so you ain't going to have no freaking future in politics. And she smacked the skin. Uh -huh. She smacked the skin out of him. <laughs> you killed and you slept with him. Yup. Whether it's true or not, that's all. Uh, that's forever attached to your name. Yeah. So that pretty much was the, was the episode. It was a few more parts. But how about when he Tate put that girl out? Yeah, so Cassandra. Yeah, after he hit it, he said, "I just need to clear my head." You can, you can go. Yeah, you can go. You I, can I share a Uber that, with Thank her. you, thank you for buying this place. You know, renting this good ever get said, this place for us. I said, <laughs> when has that been part of the game? <laughs> so y'all, we got three more suspects left. We think. Yeah. So we got three. Tasha and Sax is the only one left. And like I said, I'm leaning more towards Tasha now, seeing that she knows yeah, that Ghost is getting ready to um, rat Tariq out and get him, you know, locked up in order to make the campaign better. But that's, then again, that was more selfishness of Ghost. It was. Mm -hmm. So he sealed his own fate. Yep. But if Tasha ain't do it, Mike B did it straight from the VA. The. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we didn't see Tommy this episode either, so. I guess maybe they're going to bring us back next episode. To and let bring us know. it tied in yeah, again. Yeah, bring it all together. And confuse everybody again. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah, but we, we saw the Dre part too and how that played, how that all played out. out. Mm -hmm. So we got the 
what I used to say, all roads lead to Ford Motor Company. We're yep. finally trying to get the Ford Motor Company. So yeah. next week, y'all, we're going to find out who shot Ghost, if he really did. And uh, mm, I know in the comments, some of y'all been asking us what we're going to do. Um, Power Book, the, the thing's going to... Yeah. Proceed the the show. We don't know. We're gonna watch it and see. Yeah. What is Because I'm going. sick of power, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah. So um, we're gonna look at it and see, and then y'all know when we know. So we'll just pop <laughs> up on we'll camera. So make sure your <laughs> notifications are yeah. on. Make sure your subscribe button is pushed in with the chat mark. Straight from the VA. Turn those out. Holla.